Hi, welcome to Artistry Collaborative. My name is Joanne and I'm so glad you joined me today. If you're new to my channel, well, welcome. I hope you stick around and maybe sub become a subscriber. That would be wonderful for you to join my YouTube family. And to my subscribers, well, I just love you so much. You really encourage me to keep going. Um, we at Artistry Collaborative want to inspire creativity in everyone. We try everything. We repurpose items. We do DIYs. Um, in every kind of genre, farmhouse, boho, you name it, it whatever floats your boat. Um, and I'd love comments from you because tell me what you want to see, what you want to do, if you have a problem, any challenges, I'm up for it. So please reach out to me, leave a comment below. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps to grow my channel. And um, at Artistry Collaborative, we are the home of TriLab because all we want you to do is try. That's all it takes. Today, we are going to create a dupe on something I saw on a Michaels website. I'll insert the, pa the picture here. This is inspired by a sign I saw on the Michaels website. And, um... I use Dollar Tree items, uh, the tissue paper, the house, the board was from a shelf I found on the side of the road that I cut up, but you could use two Dollar Tree signs, um, popsicle sticks, just very, very inexpensive and easy. So let's create this together. is this is all dried so I am painting the molding an accent color we're going to use <coughs> this tissue from Dollar Tree in the Michaels version it has black and white roses uh, decorated decoration um, printed and we didn't want to go with the black and white so that's why we're going with the green um this is the celery green by waverly and i'm just going to do all the trim and then uh 
I'm going to do the rest in chalk white and then I will come back once this is all painted I will attach this to the back well I'll show you how I do it um, I'm going to glue it but I think I'm going to use a couple of popsicle sticks to keep it in place while the glue dries um, and that's it so I'll be back once this is all painted so I thought I would work on just this part to show you because that thing is so long that it's just awkward to film so I'd show you what I'm going to do on here and then I will just repeat this for the long part and then I'll just show you what it looks like all put together but again this is the tissue paper and I'm using Liquitex Gloss Super Heavy Gel um, you can use Mod Podge uh, but I think I'm going to have a better result with this. Now because it's tissue paper you can cut it easier than when you do napkin decoupage. Um, so I'm just cutting out the little and I don't care about the white because it will it will work into the background. Or it should. <laughs> put it that way. You know, I'm going to take off the excess, but you don't have to, like, fussy cut it by any stretch of the imagination. Now, I have to say that my daughter did the words on her Cricut, and I did change the words up from what was the Michaels one. I made it our own. Like, there says, in our house, and I want it in our home. So, yeah, so I'm going to have, like, this go down here. So, I'll just take some of this gel and we put it down like that. And we put this in here. not to worry about the wrinkles, I never am. But again, you can use Mod Podge for this too. I just happen to choose the gel. This is really super thick. I haven't used it in quite a while. I usually use it when I'm doing my um, art journal. So I haven't art journaled in quite a while. So um, let me know if you're interested in seeing um, some art journaling. Because I really recommend it. It's 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 fun and it it's just so many different things you can do, but if you'd like to see some of that, you know, I'm happy to, it'd be kind of good to have a series, I think, of, of um, different techniques that you can do 
in your art journal. I mean, there's people who do nothing but art journal on their YouTube channel. But again, I don't like to. I don't like to limit myself. I like to experiment, change it up. Um, variety is the spice of life. So they say, and I believe. it is about these brushes they're not I don't know if this is just too thick. I don't know what's going on. So that's what I'm going to do down that entire um, piece of wood, and then I will uh, show you how I attach it, and that'll be that. Okay, so I went ahead and decoupaged all the green on the thing, and then I'm going to put the words over that, but <coughs> I was trying to figure out how I was going to attach this to this. So I wanted to attach this to this. So I thought, okay, but now I have these gaps here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make a picket fence that goes along the back. You're not going to see much of it, but that's okay because it's also going to serve as a um, way to attach the house. So, I'm just getting some popsicle sticks, and then I'm going to use a jingle block to line them up. I'm going to paint this the celery color too. And then I will just glue like that. Yeah. All right. So let me paint this and I'll be back. So this is what it looks like with all the words, but I'm not happy with this gap right here. So we're going to make a little picket fence in the front. But as you can see, it says, in our home, be kind, share, laugh, be silly, 
dance in the kitchen, sing out loud, and love. And so this is a bit different from the one at Michael's, but you gotta make it your own. So I painted a bunch of popsicle sticks in the same celery, but I didn't want to put it right against because we're gonna mess up the words. So I'm gonna take some Jenga blocks and we're gonna bring them out a little bit. It's still gonna interfere with the word, but I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna get some hot glue here. it right at the top of the board and um, I'm going to measure this board for you it's much bigger than I'm, I'm sure than the one at um, Michael's but you can use any board you could take two of the Dollar Tree boards you know they have the beach ones coming out now the, the long ones the ones that they have every single season, except they, you know, do different pictures. Um, and you could put them end to end to make a long sign. So you definitely could use Dollar Tree stuff if you do not have scrap wood. I mean, there are ways to, to get around this stuff. And this just happens to fit the three blocks. My luck is just unbelievable. But, yeah. There. Now, I'm going to let's see how long do I want this. I don't want it too long. So, let's this is two inches, so let's cut them two inches. going to put the glue on here and then put the first one. I'm not going to do it all the way up and then I'm just going to measure with the Jenga block like that and then we'll put another dot of glue. I did um, sand the bottoms and then had to paint them again. So keep that in mind. I think I may leave a little space so that it looks like a gate. I don't know. As you may or may not notice, I've moved it down. Um, it was just, I didn't want it hiding the words and there was plenty of space here, so I moved it down. Now I'm going to add some of this ivy. Again, I get this from um, Hobby Lobby uh, when their ribbons are 50% off. And basically, I'm trying to hide where the um, popsicle sticks meet. So, I'm just going to go in and put a little glue. My daughter thought I should put some flowers, but because everything is the green, I think I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to stick with just green.
I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. Um, we, we took some, some turns, but it's okay. Again, make it your own. Put the words that you like, use the colors that you like. But this is going to be uh, at our front door when people come. I may put a couple of uh, greeneries there. Let's see. Let's see what we have that we can put there. You know, like, I don't know. Not that. Like that. Yeah. Maybe that. Um, but yeah, make it your own. Uh, again, if you have not become a subscriber, please do. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. To my subscribers, well, you know I just adore you. So thank you for your support and your continued comments. They mean so much to me. They just make my day. Um, I just really, really appreciate it. And um, as we say, you know, keep on creating. It really is easy, and it is so much fun, and it does goodness for the soul. So yeah, I'm going to put another one on there, and we're going to call it a day. Thank you so much. And there you go.